guys. Well, um, finally got the he heads back for the uh, Falcon. Um, <clears throat> took a little longer than I, I thought it would, but basically what has happened is the... Um, put all new intake valves in it. The um, what happened was I went to pull it apart and, and just kind of check the rebuild of it. And like I, you know, I live in a neighborhood and you'd swear it was like a freeway through here sometimes. It was like, I don't know, rush hour traffic. Anyways, um, <clears throat> like I said before, this engine, I bought it from a guy that said it was rebuilt. And that whole point of pulling it apart was kind of to double check, make sure it had actually been rebuilt um, yes it had been rebuilt but the heads had been rebuilt badly the, uh, the, the valve seats weren't cut real clean they were uh, and then all the valves had been replaced there were no shed I mean there were no Ford valves in it they were all Chevy valves which that's fine I don't have anything against Chevy matter of fact the exhaust the exhaust valves are still GM exhaust valves. It was like they put all new exhaust valves in, which is fine. That's that's fabulous. The intake valves were mismatched and much taller than than the exhaust valves. And um, so, anyways, we uh, <clears throat> got a whole new set of intake valves for it. Uh, what all the traffic? Anyways, what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna clean these. Uh, surfaces up real good, degrease them, get them all nice and clean and we're gonna pop these heads on, torque them down then uh, put the uh, gonna put the uh, 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 lifters and put in the uh, rockers and yeah that's what we're doing today so uh, let's get started
Well, that's it for today. Look at them. They're beautiful. Little roller tip rockers. We got the heads on today. We did pretty good. We got the heads on, got the lifters in, the push rods. The roller rockers are in place. I will come back later and uh, set them because they haven't been set. I just kind of run them down a little ways and uh, they actually, you know, they do need to be kind of like their valve lash adjusted and uh, although they are hydraulic lifters it gets it's not quite valve lash but it they do need to be adjusted um, I don't <laughs> I don't actually remember how you do it I think what you do is you run them like this where they're both valves are closed and then you run it in run the nut in so many turns I'll have to look it up it's not a not a big deal but um, yeah that's it for today, and next time we'll, uh, I think I'll probably uh, put the intake manifold on, and we may or may not put the oil pan on. The oil pan needs repaired, and I have to make a decision whether or not to repair the oil pan, or to just use the one that's on, on the car now and just move it over. So anyways, uh, that's it for today. Bye.